Eminem's publisher is suing Spotify for billions of dollars. Why? It's all been admitted that Spotify streamed Eminem's music millions and millions of times without a license. That is a copyright license. And Eminem's publisher, 8 Mile Style, wants its money. I'm Ian Corzine, your social media lawyer, and if you want more on this epic legal battle between Eminem's songs on one side and Spotify on the other, let's hit this. Is it fair for someone to use your music make money off it and then never pay you? Well, Eminem's music publisher answers with a definitive no. It accuses Spotify, the music streaming service, of willfully and knowingly streaming Eminem songs and not paying royalties. And there's a lot of evidence to show that Spotify did not have the mechanical license required to stream Eminem songs. There's only one little problem with the 8 Mile lawsuit, and that is the MMA. The Music Modernization Act was passed in 2018. It's at 17 USC section 115, and it is a really long law. I went through it in preparation for this video. I suggest you don't. The MMA was passed for a bunch of reasons. A lot of less popular artists and songwriters were not getting paid because the big streaming services like Spotify and Apple were just ignoring them. They were kind of daring them to bring copyright infringement lawsuits knowing that the less popular artists, the less successful artists didn't have the means to be able to bring these lawsuits and successfully win. And the music streaming services really wanted the MMA because they wanted immunity from copyright infringement lawsuits before December 31st, 2017. There are three main components to the MMA. The first one extends the copyrights for songs that were recorded before 1972 all the way to 2067. A lot of less popular artists, a lot of artists that made songs that were older really wanted this protection because they wanted to let the world know that their copyrights were in effect and would be for a long time to come. The MMA also sets up a non-profit organization which administers a huge computer database of literally like all music. And the law also provides that from 2018 on, all music streamed in the US is subject to a compulsory license. What that means is the artist has to have a license that's maintained by this nonprofit organization. He can't avoid it. And so if his music is played, is streamed in the US after 2018, then the music streaming companies have to pay him or her a set flat fee for the streaming of that music. So that flat fee kind of ranges, but generally it's about a half a cent per song per stream. The MMA also sets up a kind of court. It's like a legal court where disputes about royalties are decided. All right, now getting back to the Eminem lawsuit, lawyers for Spotify are probably going to argue that there's no way that 8 Mile Style can bring this lawsuit because the MMA prohibits it under section 115 D10A. Yes, I read it. This provision prohibits lawsuits filed by copyright holders against streaming services after December 31st, 2017. Spotify will argue that this was the bargain that was struck between the artists and the streaming companies. And I know it may be unfair, but the bottom line is the law is the law and the 8 Mile Style lawsuit should not be brought. And I know 8 Mile Style will argue that, listen, we're not prohibited from bringing this lawsuit because the MMA does not apply. They will argue that Spotify did not properly follow the notice procedures in the MMA, and as a result, the bar to lawsuits is invalid. I'm not gonna go into the MMA notice requirements because they're long and they're detailed, but the bottom line is that if a streamer would like to stream a song and the streamer says, listen, I don't know who owns the copyrights, then he has to file a notice in the US Copyright Office and then he can have access to that compulsory license. 8 Mile Style acknowledges that Spotify filed the notice, however, they say it's ineffective because Spotify certainly knew who owned the copyrights to songs like Lose Yourself and the other 242 songs in Eminem's catalog. And I did a Google search for who owns the copyrights for Lose Yourself and other Eminem songs, and I have to tell you that it was pretty easy to find out that 8 Mile Style owns those copyrights. 8 Mile Style's other big argument is even if the MMA prohibits their lawsuit, 
The law itself, the MMA, should be invalidated as unconstitutional, an unreasonable restriction on the procedural and substantive due process rights and taking rights of Eight Mile Style. Now, I'm not gonna conduct a constitutional law course right now, but I could, let me know in the comments. But to suffice it to say that this could very well be, this lawsuit brought by Eight Mile against Spotify could be a lawsuit that we see considered by the US Supreme Court. So what's my take on this epic legal battle between Eminem's music and Spotify? I really like Eight Mile's arguments in the complaint. They make a really good case for the unfairness of Spotify's conduct in playing and streaming all these Eminem songs and not paying royalties. However, I also recognize that the MMA's bars to lawsuits brought against music streaming services is a strong one, and it's gonna be hard as heck for Eight Mile to continue on with this lawsuit. My thought is this case will ultimately settle, and the reason for that is that Spotify does not wanna face a potential invalidation of the MMA as a whole. If it happened like that, then Spotify and other music streaming services would be subject to a lot of copyright infringement lawsuits that they don't want to defend. So I'm thinking that this case will ultimately settle and Spotify will pay 8 Mile some undetermined sum with a confidentiality clause attached and we'll never see the doors of the US Supreme Court. But I really want to know what you think. It seems clear that Spotify was streaming Eminem songs and not paying for it. Is that fair? Who should win this lawsuit? Is the MMA fair? Should it be invalidated by the US Supreme Court? Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're new to the channel, hit the like button, consider subscribing, and keep the discussion going on our Discord server and at iancorzine.com. Okay, that's enough for today. We'll see you next time.